Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to LearnAutomation.com. This is Mukesh. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to cover TestNG listeners. That is one of the most important topic in TestNG or you can say in Selenium as well. So you might have heard of TestNG listeners and Selenium listeners like WebDriver listeners, right? Both are different. So we'll talk about TestNG listener first and in the next video, we'll discuss about the WebDriver listeners. So let's discuss about the high level agenda for today. So we'll discuss what is listeners, different type of listeners in TestNG, different ways to implement the same and how to implement uh, in the project. Okay, so different ways we'll talk about different classes and interfaces that we have in TestNG. Okay. So if you talk about listeners, it's very important feature of TestNG, which will allow you to customize your logs or you can say reports of TestNG, right? So we have some log features in TestNG where you write uh, like uh, test started, test finished, closed, skipped, failed. So now using this listeners, you can totally customize the logs, okay? Or you can fully customize the reports as well. So once you get the basic knowledge of listeners, I will show you how you can customize these reports and logs using the listeners. And it is one of the best feature of TestNG if you use in your pro uh, recent project. Okay. And now if you see uh, the name itself says listener, it will listen to your commands. Since it's a TestNG listener, it will listen to the TestNG events. And based on the events, it will perform accordingly. So we'll see this basic example today. And once you get the basic knowledge of listeners, I will show you how you can implement this listeners in your project and customize the reports and logs. Now you must be wondering like uh, you, we have only one listener, but not we have different type of listeners in TestNG. Okay. Now you need to decide which listeners to choose for a particular task. So this, uh, List I have taken from their official site that is testng.org doc documentation. So let me show you this link. So if you see this testng official website, we have different interfaces, okay, which will allow you to modify the testng behavior. And these interfaces are broadly called testng listeners. So these are the list of listeners. But do not worry, we need as of now only I test listener. Every listener having a different, uh, you can say, responsibility to do the particular task. As you can see by the name I reporter, this will change the reports. I suit listeners, I test listener. So today in this video, we'll basically deal with I test listeners. Okay, like how exactly your test uh, behavior and status pass fail skip based on that we will customize the methods so if i go back to the slide again because okay, so we do not worry about others let's focus on i test listener today okay so now again uh, now this is very important in terms of your interview now we can implement this uh, listeners either using a class called test listener adapter or else we can implement an interface called I test listener. So if you know a little bit Java in Java, we have one topic called interfaces where you have some uh, methods which is unimplemented. So in I test listener interface, you will find so many methods which are not implemented. So we will implement um, and based on our requirement, we'll make the changes. So in this video, I'm focusing on I test listener. In the next video, we'll discuss about test listener adapter. But as of now, I will uh, recommend just focus on I test listener. So now here also we have two ways. So either we can implement on the class level or we can implement at suite label. So let's discuss on the class level first. And uh, once we are done with class level, and what are the challenges you might face in the first approach? Then we'll talk about the second. Okay, so let's move ahead to the clips. 
this is my project learn automation I will create a separate package called listeners demo I will create a, this let me close this yeah. let me create a fresh class and I will say test I will say test ng listener so this is a class okay and I have given this name called test ng listener so let's try the first way today we need to implement an interface called I test listener okay so if you say implements I test listener it will ask you what exactly it is so as we know Eclipse feature it will give you suggestions like which listener you want to import so you can see the first option right I test listener org dot stng so let's select this now you can see it is giving me some issues like it is throwing me an error so let's put mouse over here and it says there are two quick fixes either you can add an implement method or else you can make this class as abstract we need to click on the first one called add an implement method and you can see it gives me so many method which does not have any body right so let me remove this unnecessary code which might confuse you so now if you go one by one so just focus on these what you want to perform when your test fails what you want to perform when your test is skipped what you want to perform when your test starts success and so on so as of now body is blank so you can customize this and good thing about this is every method you can see these four methods have one parameter called I test result it means whatever your test result comes it will store into this particular object called ARG0 so I will just rename it called result it gives me like proper feeling like it will store the results only right so whatever the result it will store into this object and I will use this object to get the data so let's say I want to write I will say uh, test cases failed and details are plus so whatever the details you want if you simply say result dot you can see so many predefined methods like it will tell you when it ends so it will return you the time in millisecond it will return you the host start time status and all I need as of now the test case name which test case has been failed now the question should come into mind why only this method because let's say if you have 15 test cases and out of 15 only one test case is getting failed so this particular listener will provide you the detail with this information like test case failed and the details are with the test case name so in the same way I will write these four methods only pass fail escape and success and I will say test case skipped and details are test case started and details are test case success and details are this I'm not implementing these four you can also implement like what you want to do on finish on start on test failed bit uh, but with success percentage but ideally we need to implement only these four which is required so this method will only execute when that particular condition match let's say if your test case fail then only this will execute other else or else these will execute so if you this will be the by default every time okay whenever your test starts it will give you the information if test case pass it will give you this information skip failure 
Okay, so now our listener is ready. Now we need to implement this listener into our regular project. So I will create a new class and let's say my first test case. So now you can start writing your test cases and you will see the testing listener will automatically check which test case is running and um, it will give you the details. So let's write the first test case. I will say public void uh, Google title verify. I'm just taking any dummy example. You can take your own example and you can start using it. If I simply say test, I need to add test ng library and I need to add test ng package as well. Yeah, my system is slow today. So if you put mouse over import test. So let's write, I will say web driver, driver equal to new Firefox driver. I will maximize driver dot get dot google dot com and finally I will print the title driver dot get title and I will close the application. If you are uh, not sure how to write this code, you can refer my previous videos where we discussed how to write your first test case. So now you can see this is my test. We simply perform one opening Firefox, maximize Opal, Google, get the title, close it. But how does it relate? Like I need to use this listener. There's no connection, right? Because this is a separate class. This is also separate class. So how do we connect these? So the first way, simply type a listener. Okay, so you can see there's a separate annotation called listener okay, that you have to use. And you can use this listener. So I will say, Go to this package that is listener demo dot and use this listener called test ng listener and use the class file. It is giving me one error. So let's use here. Okay, it's not allowing again. Okay, let's uh, okay. Let's check to their official site. Maybe we are making some small mistakes. So listeners, and uh, that's all. Okay, so you can see now it is um, giving us. You need to keep this listener at the class level. So now go back and we were trying here, right? So let's control X and control V. We need to keep this listener at the class level, not at the individual test level. And uh, if I go back to the previous and test case details, not keep only details, let's say test case details are So now this is our regular test and we have uh, bounded this test with this listener called test ng listeners that we created today that is uh, reside in this particular package and we are bounding with the class file. So let's run this and check. Okay. So you can see it automatically started and say test case is started and test case details are Google title verifier. 
even though we have not written here but it's taking everything from the listeners so this is just log 4j warning you can avoid it so you can see now i don't have to write the logs it will automatically start giving me this default log because we have specified in our listeners so it helps us to save so much time and effort as well you don't have to write this you can see our test completed this was the starting then it has printed the title and test case success for a test case uh, details are Google verified right so you can see now this listener will be applicable throughout the class and whatever test you have inside this class will use this listener so if you take an example if I create one more test and this time uh, I will not open like just give me a minute there's some changes this time I will not write this code because it will take some time so I will simply say this out test to dummy and forcefully I will fail this test I just want to show you if any test fails so forcefully I am failing it so I will use one class of testng called assert which generally we use for assertion and I will give the false condition so assert true will only pass your test case if it gets true now I want to fail this test case forcefully so what I did I I pass the value as false so if assert true will get false it will fail your test so let's run this and check how it works so now this listener which we have added it will be applicable for this test case and it will be applicable for this test case so now this is started Google started and it will close and now it will check the second test case also so you can see it is executing two test cases one is Google title verify that is pass this is fail because we have given now if you see test case is started test case details are Google test verify Google and it has finished this is one test test case second started and details is title match it has printed this and it is failing also because if failure happens it will execute the failed method and it says test case fail and test case details are this then why it is failed expected was true but found false so like this you can see this listeners are very helpful for generate logs and provide you some details about the test and I just modified and just for the example purpose you can change based on your company requirement all these now take an example I have one class two test cases but what about 10 classes if I have 10 classes and I want to implement this listener is this helpful no why because I am binding this listener to the class level so let's say if I am writing 10 more classes every time I have to add this listener into each and every class so that is not the recommended way so we have another way that I was actually talking we can implement on suite label and this is the recommended way first one was only to show you how we can implement using class label on class level and suite label so let's go back and you need to remove this sorry you need to remove this line number 11 and simply create an XML file so simply right click on your um, Java file go to testng and click on convert to testng so it will 
create one XML file. Let me give testng 6xml or let's say testng mukesh.xml and click on finish. So you can see testng mukesh.xml created and this is my test case. Now I have to implement this listener on the suite label. So after the suite tag, we need to add one tag called listeners tag. So you can see after the suite, we need to copy this and we need to add here. As of now, we have only one listener, so I will remove one. And here it is asking, give me the package and give me the listeners name. So if you scroll up, what is the package name? Listeners demo. So I will simply copy the package name, listeners demo. And our listener name is testng listener. Now you are done. So what actually it does, it will apply this listener throughout your test suite. It doesn't matter how many classes you have, you can have 10 classes and 50 test cases. This listener will be implemented throughout your suite because you have implemented this on the suite label. Right. So let's run this and you can see there's one error is coming. So you can just remove it because we don't want to run parallelly. So if I run this testng mukesh.xml run as testng suite. See again getting the same thing test cases started and test case details are Google title verify. Since Firefox is taking time, so execution is a little bit slow. So in the next videos, I will use Chrome because Chrome is faster and it doesn't take much time. Okay, now it will do the same thing, same execution. Yeah, it will print the title. Test case success and another test field. So like this, if you have 10 classes, this listener will be implemented in all. Okay, so this is what I have for this. So now let's have a quick recap what we have covered. We discussed about listeners, which allow you to customize logs and report of test ng. And uh, it perform particular tasks based on the implementation which you have done. So we'll use this for customizing log and reports. So the different type of listeners presents. In this example, we have discussed only I test listeners. So you can use I reporter, I suite listener as well. The two ways either use extending this test listener adapter, which we are going to cover next, or we can implement using I test listener interface. Then we discussed uh, at the two level, first one at the class level, second one on the suite level. So class one we have discussed, we have added only at the rate listener on the class label. But the issue was it was only applicable for this class. Later on, we added one separate tag called listeners. We closed here and we added the exact listener that we created. And this is our listener. We created a class implements I test listener. It gave me seven uh, unimplement method. We implemented four, which is required for our test. This is what I have for today. So thank you so much for watching this video. In case if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. In case if you have any doubt, feedback, just <coughs> comment below. And if you want anything from the code side, just drop me an email to my email ID mukesho at learn automation.com. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.